Well, the past six days has felt like six months or perhaps even six years for the people of Newtown. They say the support has been heartwarming, but now they need some peace and quiet. News A's Erin Logan was in Newtown today. She shares some of their requests. It needs to be in private. It needs to be just, just left alone. There's no privacy at all with this scene in Newtown. Police motorcades for days in a row escorting the innocent victims to their resting place. People from far away paying respects and parking spots filled with media live trucks. It's all a bit too much. You can show your concern, you can show your respect. You know, there's, you want to do something in memory of it and then help other people. You know, it's, you're not helping anybody here by sitting in traffic and take pictures and stuff just to say you were here. Rich Cook and others in this downtown laundromat say it's been nothing but a headache to try to get out their door and do their laundry and other shopping. A few miles away from the center of town, signs are still up, no media. Some aren't at the point of doing just that, but they have the same thought, whether it's media or people who don't call Newtown home. It's, it's hard enough to have to bury a child in such a horrible situation. Amanda Talbot and her mom just left a young child's funeral. Amanda's mom, also a substitute teacher at Sandy Hook, who just happened to be at the doctor's office that tragic day. But there comes a point where you just have to say, please go home. Please let us grieve quietly, grieve peacefully. But the Talbots and the residents of Newtown went out of their way to say they do appreciate the thoughts, prayers, and messages. Now they ask you to do this. Find an organization that can help kids and do something positive before we lose more than just the 20 that we lost here in Sandy Hook. In Newtown, Erin Logan, News 8.